Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Oh my goodness. Brand new reverb removal and noise removal tools in Adobe Premiere Pro CC 2019. Gonna blow your mind. Premiere Pro has had the Essential Sound panel for a little while now, and it had tools to remove reverb and remove noise. They were okay. One of the big comments about the noise removal was it never started right at the beginning of a clip. It always left a piece of the noise in, and then it would reduce it, which would drive people crazy. Guess what? All that's gone now. New noise removal starts immediately. The reverb removal is way better. But I do want to set expectations. You're not about to take an outdoor recording with a bunch of traffic and people noise and playgrounds and make it sound like you were recording it in a professional isolation booth. Got to remember, if you've got a lot of extra noise, especially if it's different noise, this kind of noise is like a hiss or a hum and a constant sound. If it's a sound of a crowd, if it's a sound of a children's playground, that's a bunch of different noises. You're not gonna remove that. But these are remarkable new tools and they're in Premiere Pro CC 2019. All right, let's listen to this clip first and hear how much noise is going on. When I first started Ride, I was uh, really taken with her ability. So I chose a clip with noise right at the beginning, because I want to show you the noise is removed right away. When I first started Ride, I was... Okay, so there are three ways to apply this. The easiest way is to go to the audio workspace. Make sure the audio clip is selected and set the type as dialog. And this opens up quite a few choices in here, and one of them is reduce noise. I'll click on that. And now let's listen. When I first started Ride, I was uh, really taken with her ability. I'm going to increase that even more. She has it. When I first started Ride, I was uh, really taken with her ability. She has it. I'll turn when it off. When I first started Ride, I was uh, really taken with her ability. She has it. When I first started Ride, I was uh, really taken with her ability. Boom. So remember, adaptive noise in the previous tutorials, you would hear the noise whoosh, and then it would close down. It happens right away. I want to show you another way of applying that, and I'll go back to my editing mode. And if we go to the effects, open up audio effects, and you'll see denoise, and you can drag that on. In the effects control panel, to select the controls, click the edit, and you'll see just a few controls. First of all, it's the amount, how much you're going to add denoise, and then where is the noise happening? By default, it's happening on all the frequencies. You can set it to only apply for the low frequencies, mid, low and high, or just high. I, I think this is more in the mid frequencies. Not all noise is, is, occupies all of the frequencies. By default, this is set to occupy all the frequencies, but sometimes it's a little hissy, hissy noise. So if you turn this into the higher frequencies, this effect will not uh, process anything below the higher frequencies. That just helps you fine tune it. She has it. When I first started Ride, I was uh, really taken with her ability. She has it. When and you can even Ride, listen to was, the noise by itself. Really Okay, so that's another way to apply that. But if you're going to apply this to many clips on the timeline, I think it's better to use the track mixer. So in the window menu, audio track mixer, this is audio track one. So I'll go to audio track one, twirl this down to open this up, click on this triangle, go to noise, denoise, and here's the same amount button right here, but double clicking on this will bring up the same control as before. So we can set that to mid, turn this up. I'm really taken with her ability. She has it. When I first started Ride, I was... And this is much better because Denoise has to analyze each clip. And if you have it on each clip, then it's going to analyze over and over again. If you have it on a track and you have multiple clips on the timeline, it's going to analyze this once and then it will apply it. So that's much, much better. 
Let's look at D-Reverb. I'll go back to the audio workspace. Again, set this as dialog. I'm going to play this back. This is a way that many folks will record audio and they want to fix And we'll reduce the noise. There's not as much noise. And I'll turn this on and start to turn this up. Fix it. And the problem is caused by the camera being about 60 to 10 feet away. I'll turn this off. a reflective surface. So this is my kitchen. We've got tile floor, wood cabinets, and a hard countertop. And if we want to open this up over in the left in the effects controls, we can open this up just like denoise. And you can see the same settings. There's also an auto gain setting in here where it's going to try to raise the amount of, of volume in this clip uh, because reducing reverb does re reduce the gain. But you can actually go to the clarity section here, turn on dynamics and turn this up which is making all of the um, audio echo all over the place. Turn it this off. smears together. That's what you hear when you hear room tone, and that's why it's yeah. difficult to be able to fix that because it's not you can a turn this all the way up. It's actually a bunch of, of sound waves smearing together by the time. And what we can do is click this button up here to save all of this as a preset. So I'll call that my D reverb. Click OK. And now there's that setting, my D reverb, that I could use anytime I want. So you have to set your expectations accordingly. The new noise removal starts right away, but it's not going to make really crappy audio sound amazing. It's not going to make it sound like an isolation booth in a professional studio, but it will help you fix that those noise clips. The D reverb, I think, is way better and it does help in those echoey kinds of rooms. And for those people who say, well, why didn't you just record it right in the first place? Well, sometimes we didn't record it. Sometimes we didn't shoot it. Sometimes you're handed a clip and that's the only thing you get to work with. And the tools, the new tools in the Essential Sound Panel, the D-Reverb, D-Noise in Premiere Pro CC 2019 are freaking amazing. amazing. Give them a try, I'm sure you'll be uh, amazed. All right, if you're new to Video Revealed and you found this informative, take a moment and subscribe. If you'd like to support us some more, you can do that through PayPal, a one-time or monthly donation. There's a link in the description and on the front of the channel. Thank you so much to all of our wonderful PayPal supporters. We do really appreciate it. All right, till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you sounding your best.